What's up, YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, and all other social sites? The Twin Souls TV coming at you with another sneaker video. So if you don't know, it's your boy Twin Souls Ice, and I'm coming with another hit. All right, y'all, so I do apologize on me slacking on the content. I've been kind of busy, but I'm getting back in the swing of things, so I'm bringing y'all another review. So without further ado, y'all know how we do. I'll let y'all look at the box. We have the Thunder Fours. box so we get a special box with this uh, with the thunder fours i feel like it's only right because the thunder fours are one of those most coveted retros that we see when it comes to the retro four model it's one of those models that it really sticks out and it really just made a name for itself uh so we get a special box rather than the, the normal slider box we get the flip box you know the yellow hits on the inside we get the little raindrop effect here on the top just giving it a little dimension with the flight of course going across the top of the box all right so the official colorway of the thunder four is going to read black white and tour yellow i'm really glad to see uh jordan brand really stick to the to the og colors when it comes to this shoe and just use that tour yellow that tour yellow is like a staple when it comes to the uh um, thunder four oh the Thunder Fours, the original release date was, uh, they, they dropped in uh, August of 06. August of 06, the Thunders and the Lightning dropped together on Jumpman 23. Uh, but I feel like they both got, this, they must have been doing something with Tour Yellow that year because Tour Fours actually dropped in July, July, June, in June of 06. And then we get what seemed like a break off you know, two-step kid of the Tour 4 with the Thunder and Lightning 4. So, be expecting a Tour 4 drop, maybe 2024, 2025. We might, they might surprise us with a Tour 4. So, just be on the lookout for that. Uh, let's look at the shoe. So, Thunder 4, here we go. Right there in your face. Wow. Okay, so. Uh... Thunder Force, here we go. Yeah, Thunder Force. So the re official release date for the Thunder Force was May 13, 2023. And to me, I felt like it should have been one of the more hype releases of the year. Uh, coming up until uh, May, all before Nike did the shock drop, there was a lot of buzz. It was, was I would say, I wouldn't even say up to May, but earlier in the year when that, the drop was stated that it was going to be dropping this year, there was a lot of buzz around the Thunder Fours, and I mean, why not? Just, you know, just look at it. But as we got closer to the release date, the buzz started to die down. I didn't hear as many people talking about them, which I feel like was a letdown. Like this, the Thunder Fours is not technically an OG because they released in 06, but Due to the time frame and the popularity, they are looked at as like an OG because I mean I guess it, it could necessarily slip in at the you know the, the final final wave of OG even though Michael didn't play it of course because you know none don't match none of his team but I still give it that OG status this colorway is like legendary uh, so yeah it's not technically an OG but it still can slide into that category you can still make that argument other than Jordan wears or anything like that. So, looking at the shoe, we get an all black synthetic nubuck upper, which is very smooth, by the way. Very buttery. You know, we're gonna check it like we always do. Uh, uh, uh. So, I feel like it's very good quality nubuck. Uh, it's gonna come black and it's not ashy. It's not ashy. I can't, I can't stress that enough. It's not an ashy black. It's very pure black. So, good, good quality on the nubuck. Then we get the yellow accents around the shoe. We get the wings that yellow. We get the yellow sock liner behind the tongue as well as the upside down uh, Air Jordan. For those who didn't know, the Air Jordan comes upside down on that because a little, little history for y'all. Back in the day, people used to wear their tongues flipped down. So when they flipped it down, you could read the Air Jordan correctly. So that's why the, the, the tag is on that upside down. Uh, we get the yellow midsole as well as yellow behind the netting on the cage on the side as well as going up the tongue. Uh, other than that, we get a black outsole. We get all white jumper mans all over the shoe. We get a white jumper man on the bottom, white jump man on the back, 
and on the stitch and on the patch, you get a white jump man there as well as on the inside of the shoe. Go come on a black sock liner, black uh, insole, other than the white jump man on top. And I just feel like this shoe just really goes. Uh, one thing I, I did hear people talk about, like, why is the name Thunder? Like, Thunder has, has no color. But to me, I feel like the name goes very well because just look at how loud that poor yellow is on that black. So, Thunder is loud. This is a loud shoe. It very stands out, uh, stands out a lot. Uh, you know, you can't miss it. it. It's subtle, but it's got those pops of that tour yellow just to catch that attention. Like, wait, wait a minute. So, yeah. But I will ask y'all this. This is the great debate. Let me know in the comments. Let me know down below. Do you wear black socks or white socks with this shoe? I'm a, you know, I'm, I'm real big on the color socks people wear, but I'm, I'm not talking about colors, you know, when you start getting freaky and all that other kind of stuff. I'm talking about two basic socks. We got black, we got white. What sock do you put on with this shoe? Whether it's crew, mid, ankle socks, no shows, whatever, I, I don't care. I just wanna know, is it black or white? Which one are you going with? So I don't know if you saw my review, my on foot review, I actually teased both just to see, you know, if anybody was gonna say anything or if somebody was gonna naturally throw their comments out there. But yeah, I did do both. Uh, to me, I feel like you can get away with both. Uh, I feel like black socks go with dark shoes, white socks go with light shoes. And you don't you don't cross them over. You can't wear black socks with white Air Forces. You can't wear white socks with black Air Forces. Those don't go. But I feel like with these you can get away with both. Just because uh, the black sock liner this says screams uh, black sock, but I feel like if you wear a white sock, you can really tie it in because of the white jump man all over the shoe. So as long as you can see the jump man, you put that white sock on top of it. I feel like it it goes. And then of course it, it matters what your outfit looks like, but. We're not looking at that. We're talking kneecap down, which color. I say you can do both. That's just my opinion on it. So, the release date. The release date was May 13th. They were going to be releasing for a price of $210. $210. So, it's the normal price uh, that we're used to seeing uh, paying now for Retro 4s. Retro 4s, I think the Thunders came right at a great time because the fours are running the game right now. We saw 11s take off and I mean, they still run the game. Every Christmas you know what it is. You know it's the, the Retro 11 release. But after that, we saw the one way. People walking ones, Retro ones all year. Give me that, give me that, give me that. And we just saw the Retro one slow down. With the slowdown of the Retro one, the Retro four has been the shoe that has stepped into that leadership spot for Jordan Brand. So Retro Fours is what's hot right now for Jordan Brand. It's what everybody wants uh, and covered. So you really can't go wrong picking up a pair of these Thunder Fours. With that being said, if you need a pair, you already know where to go. Twin Souls, twin-souls.com or hit us on Instagram, twin underscore souls. Also, if you haven't done so already, make sure you uh, like, comment, and subscribe to the page so you can see all the upcoming events, uh, sneakers and whatnot. These are the Thunder Fours. I'm Twin Souls Ice, and I'm out.